that. Thank you, Ekdan. Thank you for this opportunity. Um, so 2016 was an eye opener for me where the transformation happened from a designer to a water conservationist. The little efforts that I did as a sustainable home and a sustainable community, I saw through the harshest of summer, we had enough water and sailed through the whole year while uh, communities around us were rationing water. So I wanted to take this initiative forward and um, uh, I got Sahi as the platform and I drove several initiatives at the grassroots level uh, for water and understood several things in these six years of efforts. Um, so one thing I understood was we, clearly are importing water to the city and we are not sustainable. We are having to fight urban floods year after year. Our groundwater levels are depleting in the deeper aquifers. We are losing streams and we are a heavily tanker driven city. So while these are the issues, but we have enough rainfall, we have enough water, if we tap this water, we have enough water for the entire population um, to meet their basic needs uh, just with rainwater. So that is, we have enough rainwater, but we don't know how to manage it. So um, uh, while working for uh, Sahe, we uh, had saved 10K boards and we had other initiatives for rainwater harvesting structures and also started with lake and well restorations. This is when I understood several gaps, like we didn't have, uh, you know, who will implement these projects? How do you understand, you know, how do you tie in researchers and stakeholders to this project? How do you do community building? And who will advise you on this? And what are these uh, restoration mechanisms? How do you build large rainwater structures? How do you get uh, understand, uh, you know, a watershed, a micro watershed or a large watershed? And how do you, um, you know, understand the strata and give site specific uh, uh, scientific solutions to this. So there were several gaps I identified and the biggest gap was dearth of rainwater harvesting structures in the city. There's simply not enough rainwater harvesting structures in the city. So this was, um, this, was this kind of uh, became a challenge how to make this happen and how do we do, um, you know, it, do it in a way where we look at a citywide approach. That's when uh, I, I founded the Rainwater Project. So um, after understood, after having understood all these gaps, we started tackling these one by one. And I can say in the first year, we, we're just an early startup now, but in the first year itself, we have helped, uh, you know, uh, recharge more than 400 million liters of water today, but there's still a lot to cover ground. I mean, still there are several challenges that we see. We have started with well restorations, uh, uh, lake restorations. So there is a social impact that we are creating. And there is a large amount of implementations that we have to do. Literally everyone that has a rooftop has to add. It is a behavior change. It's a social transformation while there is a lot of work on ground as well. So um, uh, as a rainwater project, my only ask here today is, I mean, I completely, um, you know, uh, echo what uh, Dr. Arunashri also said, um, finding a business model for a service like this, you know, it's, it's, it's been till now, even I haven't understood what is that business model that has to be. I can say we started from zero to, we have a turnover of around a crore right now in, in one year. So that means there is a huge potential in the market. But how do I cover ground? We don't have much time uh, because even the UN is calling this the water action decade. And we have to bring a serious change in groundwater and become sustainable as cities. Why are we dependent on freshwater resources? So we have to cover ground. We need a lot of help uh, with mentorship, uh, how to scale such a thing. And um, it, is, it is a service that we are offering. So um, what, what is the kind of, uh, you know, um, how, how do I balance the social transformation and uh, creating these, implementing these structures uh, in a very large way? So this is, this is the challenge uh, I have, and this is the help I ask for. While we've, we are covering ground in a fast pace, but still not enough. We, we, we really have a lot of work on ground. Thank you.